Oh, well, good morning. You're watching Today in Parliament uh, with me, Ashwarya Kapoor, and here are the Parliament headlines. Debate on no-confidence motion against Central Council of Ministers in the Lok Sabha. TDP's uh, Jayadev Gala to initiate a debate. TDP's uh, Srinivas Kesinini to move motion. Parties issue whip to its members. Day for private members' legislative business. The 21 private member bills are slated in the Rajya Sabha. 15 new bills to be introduced. And several questions of importance to be raised in the Rajya Sabha today. Questions relating to working of a railway ministry, among others. Ministers to give reply. The Lok Sabha will today take up a debate on the motion of no confidence in Council of Ministers by the opposition parties. TDP's Srinivasa K. Sinini will move the motion. This is the first motion of a no confidence against the BJP-led NDA government came to power four years ago. There will be no question hour and uh, the House would have uh, no other business uh, barring the discussion on the motion that will take place from 11 in the morning to 6 in the evening and after this a voting will be held. As uh, the main mover of the motion, the TDP has been allotted uh, 13 minutes to speak on the matter and Congress has been allocated 38 minutes and other opposition parties such as the AIA, DMK, Trinmul Congress, Biju Janta Dal, Telangana, Rashtriya Samiti have been allotted 29 minutes, 27 minutes, 15 minutes and 9 minutes respectively. The BJP has been given 3 hours and 33 minutes. All parties have issued a whip to their MPs to be present in the House. Let's get all the details from my colleague Kriti Mishra who is joining us from Parliament. A very good morning Kriti. So Lok Sabha will start a debate on the no confidence motion against the BJP led NDA government. Uh, in about uh, 15 minutes uh, from now and we understand that the TDP will initiate the debate and uh, Rahul Gandhi will be the Congress's lead speaker and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also reply to the debate. So tell us uh, who are the NDA and the opposition leaders who will be speaking during the debate today. Aishwarya, Lok Sabha would be the signature of all eyes because no, because no confidence motion would be taken up after a gap of almost 15 years, but numbers are heavily stacked in favour of the government. So what we are getting to know right now is that Union Ministers Arjun Ram Meghwal and Rajnath Singh would speak for the government. There are other members as well. In fact, Congress's charge would be led by Rahul Gandhi and also Jyotiradit Adit Sindhya and Malikarjun Karge. As far as the TDP is concerned, Jadev Galla is expected to initiate the debate. While speaking to Rajya Sabha Television right now, AI DMK has confirmed that it will not support the no confidence motion. So certainly the government is absolutely confident. In fact, the BJP can cross the halfway mark on itself. But uh, there are other uh, allies of the NDA as well as non-NDA uh, constituents who are expected to corroborate the government. Uh, but certainly other parties uh, are keeping their uh, cards close to their chest, but are expected uh, to uh, support and back the government. Uh, but uh, the opposition has already clarified that it is just not about the numbers, but it is about the message. Hmm. Because remember, the Congress has said that it is uh, to show the mirror to the government, but the yes. government is absolutely confident that it will puncture holes into the arguments of uh, the opposition and ultimately, at the end of the day, emerge victorious, like in 2003, Atal Bihari Vajpayee hmm. emerged victorious over his detractors. Eshwarya? Absolutely. So, uh, some parties are, of course, are keeping uh, their cards very close to their chest. Uh, but and, uh, of course, BJP has the number, the NDA has the gov uh, numbers uh, to sail through this uh, test. Uh, but of course, it is looking for more than that. As you mentioned, it is going to, uh, the idea is to send a wider message uh, to the opposition parties and also to the, gov uh, to the uh, people of the country as well. Uh, but speaking about the opposition, uh, Kriti, what are the key issues on which the opposition is likely to, uh, you know, corner the government? Because, you know, BJP has been uh, allotted uh, three hours and 33 minutes while the, obviously the Congress will get to speak for only 38 minutes. The TDP uh, that moved the motion has been allotted uh, 13 minutes, of course. Uh, the time given really depends on the number of existing MPs in uh, the uh, party. Uh, so uh, considering that, what are the key issues that uh, the opposition would like uh, uh, to raise uh, to attack the government today? 
Well, Aishwarya, let's make no mistake uh, that the BJP has a riveting and a stupendous speaker in Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and he's expected to reply to the debate in the evening by 6 p.m. So certainly the government expects him to highlight uh, the achievements of the government. In fact, various ministries have been asked to submit uh, and write in detail what have uh, been the achievements of the government over the last uh, four years. So the government says it has plethora of things to communicate to the people because millions would be listening to Prime Minister Narendra Modi when he would be speaking in the House today. As far as uh, the opposition parties are concerned, the Congress uh, has repetitive issues uh, like the issue of uh, unemployment, like the issue of uh, demonetization. Uh, as far as the TDP is concerned, the prime mover of uh, this no-confidence motion, the TDP says that it is going to raise the plight of Andhra Pradesh in the House. But uh, remember, Ashwarya, the government has already clarified that with the implementation of 14th Finance Commission, the concept of special category status ceased to exist, and Andhra Pradesh can get equivalent amount of uh, money or equivalent amount of allocation as uh, far as uh, special package is concerned and an SPV would be constituted for it. So certainly the government is absolutely confident and it is uh, saying that it will be an opportunity uh, for the government to really show the clear picture of the so-called opposition unity because uh, remember the opposition parties are trying to score political points over each other. Eshwarya? Absolutely. And uh, this uh, debate gets even more attention because this is coming just ahead of uh, the next year's uh, general election. In fact, PM Modi also tweeted this morning uh, calling for a constructive and a comprehensive and disruption-free uh, debate. Uh, thank you so much, Akriti, for all those updates there. We'll keep coming back to you for more on that. And uh, today's uh, private members' legislative business in the Rajya Sabha, are, and some of them are... T. Subarami is uh, ready, uh, will move to introduce uh, the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Amendment Bill 2018. Ripun Bora will move uh, for leave uh, to introduce the Companies Amendment Bill 2018. KVP Ramachandra Rao will move to introduce uh, the Contempt of Courts Amendment Bill 2018. Hussain Dalwai will move for leave to introduce the Criminal Laws Amendment Bill 2018. Narayan Lal Pancharya will move to introduce the Universal Health Insurance and Healthcare Coverage Bill 2018. Sanjay Singh to move to introduce the National Capital Territory of Delhi Law Special Provisions Bill 2018. And uh, these are the papers that to be laid today in the Rajya Sabha. Let's take a look at them. Ram Vilas Paswan for the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. SS Alubale for the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Parshottam Rupala for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. CR Chaudhary for the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. And the following questions will be raised in the Rajya Sabha today. Majid Memon's question will be to the Minister of Railways. He will ask whether it is a fact that railways are planning to replace the bio-toilets with the vacuum bio-toilets and if so, the details thereof. T. Subarami Reddy's question will be to the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology. He will ask whether Unique Identification Authority of India or the UAIDI has proposed two-tier security in the wake of a breach of Aadhaar database and to protect the privacy of individuals. Kanimori's question will be to the Minister of Electronics and Information Technology. She will ask whether the government has finalised the policy on data protection framework. CM Ramesh will question uh, the Minister of Railways. He will ask whether it is a fact that the Railway Board has held up uh, the Kakinada Pithupuram Railway Line project on the ground that the railway line is not economically viable. That's all in this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Upper House are going to begin in a short while from now. Thanks for watching.